Hi, it's Phil here from Revive My Ride, and in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust the gap on a spark plug using feeler gauges. Okay, let's get to it. Now I'm going to use a set of feeler gauges to check and set the spark plug gaps. For this spark plug and this car, I'm going to be using 0 0.028 inches or 0.711 millimeters as my target. So you can see it printed on these two feeler gauges here. So what you do is you just combine two feeler gauges to give you the thickness that you're looking for. What you're trying to achieve is something called an interference fit, where the feeler gauge fits into the gap but it's a little bit tight, without being too tight and becoming stuck. On this occasion the uh, gap's a little bit too big, so I'm going to just tap the uh, spark plug gently onto a hard surface, just incrementally a little bit at a time and keep checking with the feeler gauge again to see if I've closed the gap up. Here you can see that I've got it about right because the feeler gauge fits, but it's just a little bit tight. If you find the gap is a little bit too tight, then what I do is I use a small pair of angled needle nose pliers to gently lift the ground electrode and increase the gap. Now you need to make sure you don't touch and damage the tip, especially on a titanium or on a platinum plug. You can also get a gapping tool designed for this purpose. I'll provide a link for it in the uh, description below. If you'd like to see a video showing the complete job for changing your spark plugs, including removing the spark plugs, setting them to the correct gap and then retorquing them back in again, then I have a video showing exactly that and you can find it on the link just here. Okay, thanks. Catch you next time.